So we have a, a typical dry cell has a zinc casing around the outside. That zinc casing is an electrode. In this case, it's the anode. So it's an anode. It's made of zinc, solid metal. Inside that casing is a small disc of insulating material that stops the cathode here, which is just a carbon rod, from touching the anode. So it won't make contact here. On top of that we have a small metal cap which forms the top of a normal battery which would look like this. This would be the plus end and it's a cathode in this case. In between those, in the centre, we have around here some, well this is a graphite rod but around the outside of that we have a mixture of manganese dioxide MnO2 with carbon powder or graphite powder inside or dissolved in it. So here we've got MnO2 plus powdered charcoal, uh, which is just carbon powdered carbon and it helps to conduct near the near the cathode this thing here is graphite rod which is a type of carbon it's a good conductor and this makes an electrode so the other electrode is the zinc and this electrode is the graphite rod now in between those we have the electrolyte in this case it's a gel and it fills in the rest of this space sometimes this gel, and this manganese dioxide, powdered carb charcoal are mixed together. But here's the gel and it's ammonium chloride paste with zinc chloride in so as well in there. And those are in a paste, so we're going to end up with these ions. These are the two that mainly concern us. We also have um, well that's pretty much it as far as it goes. Now what happens is the zinc solid anode, which is around the outside here, it is oxidized. So zinc has an oxidation state of zero. It turns into zinc ions with an oxidation state of 2 plus 2 electrons so we need the 2 electrons there to make sure the charge is balanced on this side it's 0 on this side it's minus 2 plus 2 it's 0 so this is what's happening at the anode oxidation now the other part at the cathode, we have our manganese dioxide, our carbon charcoal powder, our ammonium ions, and our zinc ions. Now the zinc ions come around because this zinc is dissolving into the center, into the electrolyte. All of this part here is the electrolyte. Now the thing that's being reduced out of all of this, zinc's there being produced, so we're not going to reduce zinc, is the ammonium ions. So these ammonium ions 
from the ammonium chloride are reduced so they're gaining electrons this is happening at the cathode and they form ammonia now that too wasn't there before so I'll just I'll just show you what it would look like so this is we're trying to balance this but they also you notice one of the hydrogens from the ammonia is lost here so it's going to produce hydrogen gas not a good thing to have inside a, a cell so this ammonia uh, hydrogen gas is taken by the manganese dioxide and it's and we'll see that shortly we balance this so we've got two hydrogens and three that's five it's not too good so if we put a two here we'll have six plus two it's eight hydrogens on this side we need eight hydrogens now we've got two pluses over here now and only one minus so we need two minuses here so these are our two equations for this cell the manganese dioxide part um, basically mops up or collects or uses the hydrogen and that reacts like this and it produces a different form of manganese dioxide so the manganese here has been reduced and it forms water liquid water and that got rid of this hydrogen this hydrogen is allowed to build up inside the, the cell it can cause an explosion with electricity and heat um, you don't want hydrogen in there so the reason this third equation here is to remove the hydrogen but the main two that are involved in the cell are this one and this one so here zinc is oxidized with the anode and this one here ammonium is reduced at the cathode and the cathode is this central part of the battery cell now with those two reactions occurring we can look at the overall reaction it would be um, if we combine several of these MnO2 solid plus zinc oh sorry just correct that okay so Mn MnO2 plus NH4 plus zinc goes to Mn2O3 solid plus H2O plus zinc ammonium chloride okay That's the overall reaction and just balancing it here to a minimum to here. It's balanced. This is the overall reaction. The two part half reactions are here and here. Now you could probably simplify that to zinc sulfur solid plus two NH4 plus goes to zinc aqueous plus 2NH3 okay so you've got this one being reduced and this one being oxidized and these are your two half reactions and they give you your voltage which is about 1.5 volts if you look it up it's actually a 1.99 but you don't get that in a real cell
So this is the one that we, we're looking at. Okay, remember the NMNO2 section here circled in blue is part of the reaction that's used to remove the hydrogen gas from the cell. The actual electricity comes from this one and this one. Hope that's a little bit more clear.